Hey there, Stephanie Langston with YallWire.com coming at you from CRS41 in Nashville. Joined here by Bridget Tatum. How are you doing, Bridget? I'm doing good. All right, now you are just making your first debut here at CRS. I am. This is the first one. You know what? I think it's I'm making up for all the years that I didn't do it with the pains and the greatness of it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just getting kicked off, but I'm sure you've already been busy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yesterday, yeah. I think I finished at 2 in the morning, something like that. Oh, wow. Yeah. So are you going to use this as a networking opportunity for you? Are you going to get out and party, go see somebody you want to go well, see play? Or? I, I, well, my, I mean, my bar is called the Bridget Bar. You know, the Bridge Bar becomes my bar. So I guess uh, I'm going to watch everybody else party, actually. I'm going to see if they can survive it. <laughs> You're going to put them through the challenge? <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, you have this new video out, I Like My Cowboys Dirty. Yes. So how do you really like your cowboys dirty yeah well extra dirty I mean if we can order them <laughs> up but <laughs> yeah no you know I didn't I didn't write this song but it's something that I would have written and for my personality and my vocals I think it was the best thing for us to have for it to be the first single and it's doing great the video's doing yeah, really well it's doing good it's just enticing it's 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 a lot of fun and that little fella at the end's too daggum cute yeah <laughs> I also like the album sex church and sex chicken. church and chicken and I just spouted that out that was not on purpose it just kind of mm -hmm. came out I went this long explanation and Carolyn my manager said sum it up and I said all right, well, music, sex, church, and chicken. So <laughs> we decided works. to name the album that. I like all these names. They're very intriguing. Now, you also wrote um, or co-wrote with Jason Aldean, his number one single. Yeah, I co-wrote that with Danny Myrick. She's country. That did all right. All right. <laughs> Is it a tough call between like choosing a song that you want to pitch to an artist and one that you want to keep for yourself? Yeah, it is. You know, we were doing that in the live shows, and, and we had said, if he doesn't cut this, I think I'm going to keep it. We had some other artists that wanted it, and it's it's hard when you get one like that. You're not sure if it's great or if it's not great and how people are going to react to it. But uh, in the end, I'm glad that he sang it. I really am. I think he did a good job with it, and they kept the muscle in it, so I was proud of it. Now, would you rather be performing them or writing them? I like it all. That's the problem. There's only <laughs> one person and there's so much to do. I, I really love it all. I just really love music. And what's your uh, future goals here for CRS? Do you have to be playing one of the events goal. next year maybe? Or? You know what? I'm not really a goal setter, but no. I'm hoping that you know next year we'll have a big show possibly planned. I did a show last night and it, it ended up being a lot of fun. We had planned that, but it, it came about and I got to do it. and. I mean, I, I love the live shows anyway, because the energy exchange that happens and the fans, I mean, country fans are awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, they are awesome. When they show up, they show up. Right. So hopefully we'll get to do a show next year. And that's one of the great things about Nashville. You can kind of always jump on a stage and kind of take yeah, over yeah. anytime, music 24-7. Yeah, if you can play guitar, you got a voice. There's usually a stage here somewhere for you. Now, where are you originally from? South Carolina. So are you I know, spending I your time funny. here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I've, I've been here for nine years. I moved, I moved here and it was an unfortunate accident that got me here, but my life flashed before my face and I said, you know what, I need to get to Nashville and take the music there. You know, I read a little bit about that and uh, I guess it was a disgruntled customer at a motel. Yeah, it was and it was very unfortunate because it, it ended up being a racist thing. I didn't have change at the motel of all things, but a um, little attitude was got there and a couple days later she came in and decided to jump the counter. and start wailing on me and it was really the only time in my life where I, it was like don't fight back whatever you do don't fight back and so uh, I kind of listened to that voice and ended up with just a little dimple above my eye that that went away from a razor blade but your life goes in front of you really fast when something like that happens and you, you figure out real quick what you need to be doing mm -hmm. so it was a blessing. It got me to Nashville. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it's had an impact on your writing as well. It did. You know, I, I had some other people ask me this, and forgiveness is not really a subject. Even though I'm, I'm a forgiven person, it's not a subject that I necessarily would sit on top of to want to write. But during that time period, it pulled a lot of things out of me. Mm -hmm. Well, we're glad you're safe, and I'm glad you're here at CRS yeah, for your I'm first glad time. I'm, safe. I'm glad I'm here at the Y'all Wire. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to coming to your Bridget Bar. Yeah, we're going to have fun. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey, y'all, this is Bridget Tatum, and you're watching Y'all Wire.